my love for myself and my self-love comes from a point in which I understand that God made me just the way that he wanted to make me and that I cannot align to and be a mirror to other people. I am humbled that God made me how I am. And so maybe sometimes if we put ourselves in the biblical sense of the understanding that God knows and honors all and that he made and created us in his own image for his own knowing that we accept what is and then at the end what most people find is that everything that they thought that they needed from other people doesn't even make them happy because the key thing in self-love is loving self there is no substitute for you there is no substitute for the care in which you can provide for yourself there is no substitute when it comes to the way in which you can love and honor yourself, people should be an addition. They should not be the filling point to your inadequacies. They should be that plus, never zero plus one is that one, right? It is one plus one is two and you are stronger.